Okay, so Maestra, you've heard this from me before and I'm going to say it again. There's absolutely no doubt that you're one of my star NDA students. And honestly speaking, you have been one of the most regular, the most dedicated and the sincere, one of the sincerest ones I've seen, always up to date with your work and not to mention so polite and well-mannered and just a pleasure to have in class all around. So honestly, Maestra, how has your experience been? Ma'am, it was, was your- really, really nice. Uh, for me, it meant a lot that uh, me being constant was something that I did for myself as well because I had a very rocky start to this year. I changed schools, I changed like places. So it was very, I was in a very like confused place. And uh, out of, of all my classmates, of all my very close friends, I was the last one to even think that, you know, I need to start preparing for NDA. And I need that NDA was the exam that I wanted to prepare for. So I was the last one to get into any of that. And I was really, really at a place where I was very confused. So you all three of you, you were such a constant. I used to look forward so much to that one hour, one and a half hour class every day. Because it used to, it was the it was the one thing that was constant throughout those you know months where I was otherwise in you know, my school and everything was like in a turmoil. So that meant a lot for me. It was I used to feel, I used to look forward every day to those classes. No, and honestly, all three of us also discussed. And, you know, like you say, you were a constant. You were a constant in our, all of our batches. And every day we used to look forward to Sweet Maisara being in our class. You used to revise. You used to ask a lot of questions. There's this beautiful sense of curiosity that you have. And even though you say you were late, I think you did fantastically. And also the kind of drive that you have. We see in very, very few students. So how was your exam and how do you think, you know, having force on board helped with that or what do we see in the future then for you? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, I will be, this is completely the truth. The first reaction when I saw the paper maths and GS, my first reaction was I gave a smile. I gave a huge smile. I was thinking to myself, this is probably the first time that I'm smiling at a paper. And even though my I didn't do as much in maths as I could have, my uh, sir had told me to first mark all the questions that I could do. And I marked over 50 questions. So I was so, I was so happy. I, throughout the exam, I was smiling. I was like, oh, it's okay. At least I know I have studied. And uh, same was for GS. And what happened actually midway through the GS exam, I didn't know how much time had passed. And uh, I had attempted, I had attempted once the entire paper. I was going over it again for the questions that I was not completely sure about. And uh, so I thought around like uh, one and a half, two hours might have passed. And uh, I looked at the time, it was just 45 minutes. So <laughs> after one hour, I was done with my entire paper and the invigilator was staring at me like I'm doing nothing. Everyone was still writing this. And I genuinely didn't have any more. I didn't have anything else to do. I was just going over it again and again. I had finished my paper. So that was a shock for me as well because I had no idea how how the time it seemed so slow and i finished the paper in one one and a half hour completely see it's no surprise to us that you did well (laughs) and i knew before you even sat for the exam i remember when you had your school exams also on i told you that there's no way that you're not going to do really really well you were going to obviously kick ass all through which you did and i'm really proud of you i'm genuinely from the bottom of my heart i feel so glad that you know, I also had the opportunity of having you in my class. So going forward, my Sarah, what's the plan? Ma'am, I'm going to crack the April one, the April attempt. I definitely, the first thing that I, I called up my dad right after I walked out of the uh, exam center. And I was like, I'm definitely going to do this because I was, Love it. it was never, uh, not never. It was just, I was the latest to think about what I want to do and all my friends knew it, supposedly I, I used to think that they all know they all have it figured out but after I joined force I actually it uh, because every day when we used to meet 
there used to be even just a sentence that you're going to make it one day and used to say that i'll call you when you become an officer and that one sentence that i heard all the the four months that became a constant and that just like made me realize that that is what i want to do so now i'm like completely sure god willing i'll clear the april attempt you absolutely will i don't have a doubt i don't have a single doubt in my mind but also let me just tell you one exam aside you are the kind of person who can do anything that she sets her mind to i have absolutely you know i i make no qualms about it and i've said it to you several times and i mean that and my sara i can only wish you the very very best i know that you'll do well whatever you do and i can't wait to see all the amazing things that you get up to in your life Thank all you. right all the very best my sara i love you with all my heart and i always wish you well